Welcome back to Thunder Likes Rocks channel, where we play Elder Scrolls Online in adventure mode. Like uh, going all the way back to all this uh, beginner's content, I wanted to say, like the content from the very beginning of the game. We are in Stoneforts for the Ebonheart Pact. That is our pact. We are, yeah, on this beautiful dawn of day and the ash rain that's pretty unhealthy to breathe that like all the time we are back at coal place because we are back to the world and uh, our next course of action is going up the street here see what's going on here going to this place and going eventually up to Fort Iraq to see what's going on there because we heard the covenant took the fort and then we're going back down here this way and uh, I guess to next area the shine but first we go up here to see what's going on in Rogger's Hold and in uh, Port Rock of course. Let's see what the map completion says. We are uh, halfway through the main story here. Breaking Fort Rock is the next one. Then uh, we have like ha exactly half of the <laughs> way shrines. We have a bit uh, more than half of the delves already. We have exactly half of the places on the map that are interesting. We have uh, we found a lot of uh, pathfinding areas already. We find two of three from the set stations. We found one of two of the um, monostones. We did the public dungeon already. We found one of three dormants. Uh, we did four of six uh, world bosses. Nine out of sixteen sky shards. So we have a bit. A bit more sky shards than uh, half. And 18 of 32 books we found. So that's pretty impressive, I think. So we are basically, you could say, halfway through Stone Forts. And we are already at episode, I think this is 42. That's a pretty lot, actually. And this is only like the first bigger area of the pack. So you can see clearly Please. I was once like you. there's a lot. A lot still to come. We are not even close to being done uh, in the packed area and then comes all the rest so we have like a ton of work ahead of us. In case you're wondering why I'm walking and not uh, riding on a mount we're still pretty bad with the walking uh, with the, with the um, speed the riding speed so oh he took an arrow to his head his eye ouch that was painful so yeah, we are pretty pretty bad at uh, riding still, so that's why I prefer to walk because we're still faster walking than we are riding. That's pretty sad, actually. But uh, I can live with that. So yeah, we are still at Stoneport. We are making our way more and more to the north. See what's going on there. There's a lot of guar here. That's cool because I like guar. I don't know if we've managed to find everything here. Like uh, I try to clear the map as good as I can, uh, but I'm not going to uh, look for every book and every uh, stuff because there's also like books that you find only when you break into houses and things like this. I'm not really fond of this and a lot of books you find later in other areas anyway. So um, like a lot of them are double. So if you finish one Pact or Covenant or whatever, then you're basically uh, going to find the exact same books on the Dominion or on the Covenant area. So if you would uh, try to if you do everything what we do at the end, um, then it's basically double and twice the same stuff. So we still have a lot of chances to get all the books and stuff like this. And we don't read them much anyway because uh, I only read them that I'm really interested in and that's not much. I just like to have them for the um, for the for the skill line of the of the major skill, of course. That's a sky shot. Nice place for a sky shot. In front of this nice statue of a uh, oh, and there's a blue book. Mottos of the Dunmore Great Houses by Wilvin Gewitch. Okay, sky shot. I like sky shot. So yeah. We still have a lot of work to do. And uh, 
can't wait to see how many episodes it will be until we get to Code Harbor one time. Uh, that will be already a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. And we have a lot of time, no? Like, uh, I guess the series for the channel will go on, go on oh, forever and ever and ever. But, uh, I mean, there's still a second series I publish all the time. At this moment, it's going on. I can't wait to see what will be after Grim Dawn because uh, this won't be that long as Elder Scrolls, I'm pretty sure. So, it's, I'd say it's pretty interesting because there's other stuff uh, that's also going to happen. And, uh, yeah. So, Elder Scrolls will be like a long time series on the channel. And uh, the other stuff, the other games I play. Will be more for shorter games, I guess. Like I don't do two long time series in a world that wouldn't make sense. At the same time, so I do like Elder Scrolls as a long time series and uh, shorter story based games for all in between. Oh, I get like a lot of mails all the time because I sell stuff like crazy in, in the guild shops. So. I hope it's not too distracting, but uh, right now it's the Witches Festival and I collected even like the most crap stuff from the Witches Festival, like some furniture that I got like 2000 times out of this uh, blunder scars and some recipes that are like kind of easy to get and stuff. I sell like crazy. I sell so crazy that uh, I don't know, I can't even keep up with putting new stuff in the shop all the time. <laughs> so why are we here and what happened here? Let's put it burnt down. What's happened here? Who are you? It's not safe here. I can clearly see that, but what's going on? Run, friend. Get out of here before the Covenant soldiers come back. I'm staying put, so I can direct other survivors to safety. But if I see another dagger uniform, I'm leaving. Covenant soldiers? Here. Yeah. They came up the road from the east, killing and looting as they went. A few of us managed to escape. I wish I knew what happened to Othris and her family. Who's Othris? Salu Othris is our overseer. Her husband, Garvis, was organizing a defense of the stables. I didn't see where the matriarch and her daughter went, but her boys headed for the pools. Poor folks. They were a good sort. For field masters, that is. They might need help. I should look for them. I'd start with the sons, Daedris and Mavis. The last I saw, they were running for the sulfur pools. It's dangerous in there. The water boils and wild shulk come up from underground. Maybe Vec guide your steps, traveler. You work here? Doing what? Mining sulfur, of course. Of course. We get it from the pools. Alchemists pay a premium for it. They use it in potions. But they don't want to gather it themselves. Why not? I, I can I mean, what a question. You know how sulfur weeks? Like, of course you don't want to, carry, uh, to, to gather it yourself. Take a deep breath. It smells like rotten eggs here. Night and day. It gets in your clothes and your hair. Most alchemists are just too proper to put up with the smell. Can't blame them. Uh, I mean, but they still work with it, so I guess they have to smell anyway. But uh, less intense than if you would gather it. I mean, you ruin everything, and I don't know how long it takes until you get it out of your clothes. <laughs> oh! They are coming! How are you? Oh, oh. That's, that's, a, uh, that's vampire, not Dedra. Even more interesting. Oh, we have a silver quartz here. Must, must smell terribly. And uh, some boys got uh, got lost here. Okay, I guess we could solve that. I hope so. Here she is again. Wow, that was fast. How did you do that? Now that's the way shrine. Okay. So yeah, let's uh, head up to the silver quartz and uh, see if we can fight those boys. And of course, some shark. There's always shock around. 
I like the place, yeah. That's so far, I guess. It's not also pretty dangerous to walk around on Sofo, like, uh, it's not like, uh, not that good for your skin and, uh, your clothes, I bet. I think it sounds pretty dangerous at least. Don't know if it really is, but it sounds the way. Kinda cool though. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, come on. Excuse me, can I help you? You look uh, depressed, I don't know. You don't look scared or something, you just look depressed. The Shulk had me trapped up here like Nick's hounds hunting a lizard. Thank Vivek, the brutes were too stupid to try going around the rock. They just stood down there and snapped at my feet. Can you return to the family, Stead? I'm sure going to try. Please find my brother, Dedrus. The Covenant soldiers were hot on his heels. Okay. <laughs> it's just the thing they're like. On a vacation or something, doing a break from hiking, I don't know. You don't look scared, that's what I can tell at least. There's another quest, but I think that's where we're going back to. After we find the brothers, I think. There he is. Kind of good hidden. Excuse me? You look scared. Properly scared. The soldiers are gone? Thank our Malexia. I thought no one would come before they got tired of taunting me. They kept talking about what they do with their knives. That's not nice. Have you seen me, your mother and sister? We got split up. The last I saw Drathyra, she and mother were just ahead of the invaders. There's a cave at the edge of the pools. Drathi, Mavis, and I used to play there. I'll bet that's where they went. Can you turn to the family, Stad? Yes. Now that those soldiers are gone, I'm going to make a run for it. Wish me luck. I do. Poor guy. There's like two quests here. Let's look for them. Ah, this is uh, yeah, this is the place where they were talking about, I guess, the farm area, like the pool place. Ah, and just gave us the. You found my sons? I'm in your debt. I'm sure they're on their way here now. This cave they spoke of must be the one on the western edge of the pools. I'm so your father. Who are you? I'm sure the Covenant troops have eaten them all, uncivilized savages. I don't know, like as soon as uh, soldiers are terrorizing the normal civil people, it's not okay. I mean, they can uh, do the war stuff, they can uh, treat the other soldiers bad, I don't know, but don't be an asshole to the civilians, they're not involved in this and they don't uh, want to get involved in this, they just want to live in peace, that's not okay. Eaten all of what? Our Guar. When the Covenant soldiers attacked, the Guar panicked and ran into the sulfur pools. Guar aren't the smartest animals. By now, some of them have probably drowned. <laughs> oh, poor Guar. How could I get them to return? Did I mention they're dumb? Put a harness <laughs> back on them, say a few calm words, and they'll run back here. The hard part would be finding harnesses. I've only got one here. The rest are scattered with the Guar. 
You'll have to find them in the pools. I'm sure I found more. <laughs> I like Boa, even though they seem to be dumb. I like them a lot. They're cute after all. Oi. You really don't. Are you eating a Boa? You should be ashamed of yourself. Strange boys. They're so cute. How could you even consider eating them? Yeah, so cute. There's one eating a mushroom. Sweet boy, come to me. You're so cute. Chee <laughs> Run on, little one. And we also need to find a cave. Okay. And there's another gua. In distress. Oh no, save the guas. Friend, come to me. Go home. You're cute. Boop. Wow, so cute. It's amazing. <laughs> I like them. Oh, I like them. Well. I want one. Sweet boy. Henos. The guar are all over the pools. Don't forget the harnesses. Can't send them home without harnesses. I'm just going to sit here until I can't hear the screams in my head anymore. I'm sure it won't be long. Wow, that's so distressing. So, yeah, they are basically the two quests, or the, the one quest, basically. Poor Gua, poor people. Was not okay. We talked about this already a lot of times, but was just terrible, really. There's one more harness. Found her, the sister. Oh no, what happened? Why? Why did they do this? What happened to your mother? He stabbed her. Merciful three, he stabbed her. Why did he do that? We did nothing to threaten them. Calm down, who stabbed, stabbed her? The captain of the Covenant soldiers. His blade was poisoned. I can already see the edges of mother's wound blackening. I must be calm. I can't lose my wits like some rattle-brained Altma. What can we do to save her? He said he had an herbal antidote. He actually waved the bottle in my face. He said I could have it if I, well, entertained him and all his men. I spat in his face. I'll get the antidote from him. Where is he now? He went south to our Gua barns. Said he wanted to hear the beast scream. We keep grief brandy in the storage shed there. Light some on fire. I bet that'll get his attention. Ah... Not only are they behaving badly towards the civilian people, like really badly. You're not... Like you can't behave like this and telling her that, like... Is she even old enough to... Nah, I don't know. It's not okay anyway. So... But the worst thing is, like... Uh, how they treat animals, like you... The moment you're doing this, I know that you're a bad person because... The way you treat animals tells so much more about you than uh, the way how you treat other people. It's always how you treat the helpless that uh, shows what kind of person you are. And in this case the helpless are just some poor gua. And if I hear things like, hey I want to hear those animals scream, it's just not okay. Not at all. There's no way that this could ever be okay. I lost my way again, I think. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be down there. Oops. What happens to me? I wonder why. Hey, you are. Need to go home, sweet boy. Two. And you too. Come on. Let's don't go time. Okay, we saved them. That's a barrel of brandy. Okay. What's going on out here? Ah, you are the one. 
I don't like you, and you'll see that soon enough. Then I show you what's going on, and then I will I will entertain you and your man a bit. I will antidote. I will entertain you and your man, no problem. Guess you never had a real lizard entertaining you. Now you have, and I don't think you like it. Let's give it an start. Where did you come from already? You settled this, stupid we? Here we are. You're back. Do you have the antidote? Did I make it back in time? I think so. Please, give me the bottle. Here it is. The three, bless you. Mother, everything's gonna be fine now. Will she be alright? Yes, you got here in time. She's resting now. I'll help Mother make her way to the stead. We'll see you there. And thank you. No problem. No problem at all. You should help her and not run in front of her. So, okay, I think we saved the whole family. Looks good. Looks good to me. And we saved some Gua. Took care of everything. Now we, we, we turn back. Mavis made his way back. Daughters. Mother. Everyone back. Oh, there's the other son. Okay. I had to change my breeches before I came home. Don't tell my father. Hmm. I hate relying on others, but I owe you my life. I will not forget that. If it wasn't for you and Drathyra, I'd be ashes in our ancestral hearth. You're welcome. Thank you for helping me save my mother. I'm sorry I panicked. It won't happen again. There's more steel in me than even my father suspects. I think you're... So you're a really brave woman. I hope this war with the Covenant ends soon. Preferably with us slaying their men, selling their women and children into slavery, burning their towns and salting their fields. Those ruthless barbarians deserve no better. It doesn't make you any better, don't you understand? That's exactly the problem. This eye for an eye behavior is not helping anyway. Stop it. Stop this madness. Just stop all this hate and... And... Uh, and uh, I don't know. Stop it. Just stop it. It's not helping at all. All this violence, all this hate. That's exactly the problem. So you... Uh, selling their families into slavery then they come back for you because they hate you again then they are doing shit to you again and then it uh, it's like an end circle like this it doesn't help it's like it will never end like this I understand this ah a fine job most of the herd has come home i'm glad they made it the othris use these animals to haul carts of silver to market but they don't care about them like i do whether or not you care about the Guar, you've helped them. And me, I think I owe you this. I care about Guar greatly, I like Guar. If I could, I would have a Guar instead of a weird little animal thingy. I like Guar. Somebody, please. So, let's talk. Drathyra tells me your actions saved my wife from a painful death. I'm in your debt, and I honor my debts. I see your whole family got here safely. That's thanks to you. As I said, I honor my debts, but until we drive the Covenant from Stonefalls, this is all I can offer. Now, I must speak with Dedrus. He smells like he dishonored himself. Don't be too harsh on him. I mean, they were really mean to him, and uh, it's a scary situation. I can't really tell how old he is or what kind of difference it makes because I was uh, getting older than you and my people, so I think uh, for them it's a bit different than for us but I think he's not that old and uh, it's natural to get scared oh we get a new weapon 
Let's take a lightning stuff. Stuff. We have one on the back back bar right now. So let's see what we can do now. Anything new? Not here. I'm not here either. Also not really here. So not much here, I guess. Not much here. Increase your spell assistance. That doesn't help us right now. No, I don't have really any other kind of our modern light ones. Uh, this we don't use at all. Nothing here on the mage is good. I could put some in the Agonian stuff. Increase your max magicka and max stamina. This uh, sounds pretty good. Max health. Mm, I don't know. Worth it. Oh, let's put just put the points in max health. That's never wrong. So I think we will end it here today. We're already a bit longer than usually. But um thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have fun with me and all the rest and all this funny gua. I like gua, I really like gua. So have a great day. If you liked the episode, maybe consider liking, maybe subscribe to the channel, that would make me really happy. And uh, tell your friends about it, share it, do whatever you want to and uh, whatever you can. If you want to support me, that would be amazing. So I hope you have a great time, have a great week, have a great day, have a great lifetime. I don't know. Uh, come back for the next episode if you liked it and we we'll see each other. Stay healthy, take care of yourself and bye until next time. See you.